Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new episode in the Rebuild and Brighton series where we're playing our first game of the new Premier League season against Liverpool. We have never beaten Liverpool in this save and uh, we've only actually lost to them so it would be great to turn that around in this game. If you guys haven't seen the transfer special make sure that you click back and check it out because there's a lot of players in this team that you won't recognise. Spoiler warning is leaving in 3, 2, one, here is the team that we have decided to go with for this game. Uh, Sanchez, White, Bailly, Nori, Cataldi, Bellingham, Andre Anderson, David, Asensio and Mayoral with Onana in goal. Only one, two, three new signings. The rest of them have stayed the exact same. I feel like we had a pretty solid squad last year, so I don't feel like there's too much need for a change. We need to give... Asensio the number and I uh, will give him number 11 I think that's pretty fitting for the position that he plays in let's jump straight into this game against Liverpool and hopefully we can come away with a point a very solid Liverpool side with a couple of players that have really stepped up their team and uh, that's not something that I thought you could do in real life Liverpool are an amazing squad and uh, this squad looks even better than their current 11 hopefully we can cause a bit of an upset and uh, get some points on the board to start us off this season. Uh, finish what we uh, started at the start of uh, last season. Unfortunately, a bit of a dip in form meant that we didn't do as well as we probably could have uh, last year. So hopefully we continue a consistent good performance throughout this year. And uh, starting off well here is really important. Mohamed Salah almost ruining that potential for us and uh, a really good save by Onana who I actually wasn't that convinced by at the end of last season ended up playing quite poorly and making a few mistakes which I wasn't very impressed by so hopefully he can justify the new contract that he signed because he actually wanted to move to Arsenal after they made an offer for him but the only way I could keep him around was by giving him 115k a week so I managed to give it to him and a uh, Hopefully he justifies that with some great performances. We finally have a chance in this game and Asensio is playing the ball forward and finds David who finds Mayoral and we get the first goal of the game. That is what we like to see. David with an early assist to his name and Mayoral the top goal scorer last season coming off the mark very early in the season is exactly what we like to see. More to come from that trio hopefully. Asensio, David and Mayoral all look like amazing players and hopefully they can create a lot of goals this season. Sanchez making a good tackle against Sadio Mane, putting a solid ball but it is just intercepted by Gomez and it looks like it might be Liverpool's chance now as Aor puts a good ball over for Firmino to run onto and he's probably going to look to play it into the middle. Mane playing it past a few players and he shoots and scores. Onana has nothing to do about that one and uh, that's just good play from a top quality squad in this Liverpool team. Uh, Sadio Mane, one of the best players in the world in real life and in this game I would assume so can't be too disappointed with uh, them scoring that one but we are still one all and uh, in my opinion that's still a pretty good result against a squad like Liverpool hopefully from this corner we, we can create a chance which might put us another goal up but unfortunately it's gone just over the bar I'm not sure who got that chance in the end but couldn't turn it in to the back of the net Asensio on the ball I think he lost it to Alexander Arnold there and Salah shoots it straight at Onana a good save there and a, a bit of a mild chance there you know didn't really need to see that one quite a comfortable save for Onana I would hope if he wasn't saving that one there would certainly be questions raised Dybala puts in a ball and it looks like Virgil van Dijk has won a penalty Cataldi our captain giving it away and Dybala steps up to take it and hopefully Onana can be a hero and make a save in the first game of the season. Yes, he can. It is a corner to Liverpool. Great save by Onana, just as I'm talking about how he wasn't great at the end of last season. He proves that he deserves that 115k a week, and uh, he is showing that in the form of a great save from a penalty. Cataldi clearing it out, and hopefully he can turn this game around. He is a very influential player, two-time player of the season award, last two seasons in a row, and uh, he needs to show a little bit more composure than that, giving away penalties that easily. I'll tell the boys I'm very happy with the performance so far. Don't think I need to make a tactical change right now, although, although we do have a lot of youth players and uh, debutants on the bench that certainly will be wanting to make a bit of headway in the league this year, so we will definitely be wanting 
to bring some of those players on. And with some low ratings across the board, there is certainly a chance for those players to show what they've got and show that they can play for the squad. We haven't gotten any shots for quite some time now, actually, I say that. And I think we just got three shots in the last couple of minutes, but I'm still going to bring Asensio off and uh, take David out onto that left side. Unfortunately, Asensio couldn't do anything really impactful this game, but I actually think he was playing quite solid. And from the chances that I saw him involved in, he seemed like he knows what he's doing. Those stats definitely prove that he is one of the best players in our squad. Green's all over the show, and hopefully he will build off this and uh, play better in the next game. Now, Alexander arnold putting it in, but we managed to make a good tackle, but Liverpool have it now. Robertson going past a couple of players, but Sanchez makes a good tackle, and we could be on the break here if our player can get past OR, but he can't quite, and Liverpool recycle it, playing it to Salah, but Katori, our captain, comes in big with a good tackle. Again, losing it to Liverpool, though. A great squad, Mane on the ball, and shoots and scores again. 2-1 to Liverpool now. Unfortunately, when you give a player like that an opportunity, he is going to score, as he's already proven this game. A good goal from him, and uh, that's not what we want to see on the opening day, giving away easy chances like that. A really good hit, nonetheless, but really, Nori, oh, no, sorry, that was Sanchez should have been doing a little bit better to close him down there. Dybala on the ball, Robertson playing it forward, and oh, Onana got lucky because he went well to the right there, and he could have definitely been exploited. But we got lucky and uh, get away with that one. I'm going to bring Dilson on for Mayoral to give him his debut. As well as Giuse on for Cataldi. Not that Cataldi has played reasonably bad. I just want to freshen it up and uh, give Giuse a bit of a game. He is certainly a great player in the squad and deserves plenty of game time. It's just hard to justify taking off any of those uh, midfield players at this point in the season, especially with Cataldi being our captain and the other two being very crucial to the future of our club and uh, generally the current ability of them uh, justifies being in the starting 11 every single game. Hopefully we can come away with a little bit more of a chance to get a goal as this game nears the end. Eight shots to their 19 does show that we probably don't deserve to be getting a point out of this. We might go attacking for the last few minutes. Despite the attacking mentality, we couldn't manage to get any other goals in that game and that is how it ended. 2-1 to Liverpool, a pretty good way to start the season. Although we didn't get any points, we did show that we are very capable to compete against the big sides in this league and hopefully we can build off that in our next game which is against Wolves away from home. Welcome back to the second game of the season which is up against Wolverhampton Wanderers as I said before. Cousins is coming to the squad as Billingham is feeling a little bit uh, injured and he's not quite ready to play a full game so it'll be interesting to see if he plays well in a box-to-box -box midfielder role. Early doors, we do have a chance straight off the kickoff, and hopefully it does go our way. Andre Anderson playing it out to Nori, who plays it to Asensio, who loses the ball, unfortunately, and it could end up being Wolves' chance yet, but we do get the ball back, so it could still be ours. David into Mayoral, who scores again. David and Mayoral rink, rinking, linking up well to create the second goal of the season and uh, a second assist for David and a second goal for Mayoral is showing that those two can play well together. I'd like to get Asensio in on the action to be honest because he's the man that I really want to develop and, uh, and the man I'm expecting to play very well for the squad so if he can get on the score sheet early in the season and give himself a little bit of confidence that would be something I would really appreciate. Uh, the team as a whole playing quite well 20 minutes in Again, three shots to their three. Sorry, I completely missed that, but unfortunately, Ruben Neves has scored a goal against us, and uh, Gibbs White plays it in a really good long shot. But I still think, though, Nana should maybe be doing a little bit better than he did there, and uh, I don't know if I'm being a little bit harsh, but that looked like a much easier save than he made it out to be. Unfortunately, that does mean we're one all on the scoreline, and uh, we need to come away with another goal to hopefully get us all three points. Asensio not playing well, but everyone else apart from Sanchez seems to be having a pretty alright game. Just a lucky shot from Wolves goes into the back of the net and we lose our lead. Going into half time, I'm not actually too disheartened by that goal. We are playing better and I'll tell the boys we've been unlucky because 
because to be honest, we do deserve to be up. They haven't reacted very well to that, so maybe they don't think they've actually played as well as I do. 56% possession still shows that we are all over this wall side. Maybe some shots to come at the end of that uh, use of the ball would be ideal, but right now you're not going to do anything with the ball if you don't have it at the end of the day. I think Kusins might want to come off as he... Uh, isn't actually playing the best in that new role. Although I do love Kusins as a player, and I was very upset that I had to drop him for Andre Anderson, but he was just too good to pass up. Uh, he can't really play in that role right now. Maybe if I trained him for a wee bit, he could do a job, but I think that Billingham can come back on and hopefully make a wee bit of an impact in the second half. I'm going to go positive, because I don't think that we've had a single chance in this uh, second half. I don't think we've had a single shot, actually, is why I meant to say, and Ruben never scores again. Oh, my gosh. It's an absolute joke. It just comes straight out to him. He hits it on the volley, and I guess you can't really say that Wolves don't deserve it, but gosh, this is such a disappointing way to start the season off, and I don't think that we really deserve to not be winning these games or getting any sort of points, so it's just hard to take right now. But we will move on and uh, keep trying. We'll bring on Soleil for his debut. I'm not sure if it's Soleil or Solet because I know that the French kind of add a wee, uh, the ET at the end means lay or I don't know, I don't speak French. Uh, Wolves coming back at us again. Maybe we can create an opportunity if we get the ball back. Shakiri on the ball makes it makes me think that it's probably not going to be our chance. And we've only got one more shot since I made the tactical change. We're going to go attacking. I'm not feeling hopeful. The boys haven't been playing well since the first goal and uh, overall a pretty disappointing performance. Maybe one last change might make a difference. I'll bring off Cataldi and bring Dilson on. Hopefully he can score a goal. That makes him an absolute hero in this uh, Brighton side early on in his career. Although Cataldi's played very well, I just need a little bit more of attacking prowess in this formation. Can we say, say to the boys anything more? One more minute? I don't think it's going to happen, and that is two losses on the trot. Both of the games we were winning 1-0, and both of the games we have lost, and I'm going to tell the boys I'm not happy with the performance. Zero points from two games, and I personally think we have been insanely unlucky early on in the season. Hopefully we can regain some form off camera. But thank you guys so much for watching. That is the end of the episode. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and keep following the series as we hope to actually play a little bit better than we have early on. And as always, thank you guys very much for watching once again, and I'll see you later.